Hello there, everybody, and welcome to another stream slash episode of Red Dead Redemption. Oh, uh, damn, bro, I'm by some flies and shit. Yeah, Red Eye, you're Dead Eye, I believe. You will not remain in Dead Eye while you fire, when you fire your weapon. If you have not tagged the target. Uh, that's cool, right? Uh, but nah. My host was kind of stuck on the other side. So I kind of left, bro. Kind of left my host behind. Come on. Come on, horsey. Where's he going? Oh, he's coming. Okay, there he is. Look, look, look. He about to pop around the corner right now. Look, 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 look. Look. Is he coming? There he is. Oh, there he is. Yo, what's up? Fine morning, sir. Okay, then we'll go do these other people's uh, mission before we do Dutch's. Because Dutch got me banned from this place. And I had to pay like 186 just to be able to come back. Also, something happened to Red Dead Online. And I don't know what happened. What the hell? I don't know if uh, if it got, if they shut down the servers or what. But yeah. I mean, I wasn't really looking. I wasn't really going to play it. Hey yo, I wasn't really gonna play the online version or a feature of this game. Excuse me. Yeah, hey, those up. I know you, Mister. I believe we've met. We have. But that guest that party. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately, so, Mister. Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. How? Uh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. When did I rob him? Hey, do you, uh, well, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? Uh, this is. Rains fall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Joan, we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. You have great powers of observation. It's my people, if we are even a people anymore. We've fought hard. We've made peace treaties. And those treaties were broken. And we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly, contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son. Ooh. Ooh. Bro, ready. We but you better step back, bro. War. They have got stronger, and we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. That is true. Uh, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is, but I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government Cornwall, claiming of huge reserves of oil under their land. So, you want me to try and steal it? Obviously they can't. <laughs> and even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, but we're very desperate. Now, I'm not a do-gooder. Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. How much? You talking? How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> People There's don't do shit for free. Two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is now undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. When did I get Gentlemen, that bandana on? With the the mask. Oh, wait, never mind. I think it's always on my neck, huh? Our time. And his. We must try everything. Come along. Hello, Mr. Miller. 
The counselor wants to apologize if he can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. <laughs> okay, so two things. One, I had orange chicken, which was fire, by the way. And I had it at a spiciness of level five. And two, I wanted to talk about, sp about spice. Bro, hold on. Oh, I forgot about this. Uh, I don't think it showed up on the map yet. Also, did you know spice? I, I don't know if it's spice. No, spice is different from pepper or hotness. I, is it hotness? It's one of the two, but one of the two is not uh, a flavor or whatever. Like it's it's it causes pain. It's supposed to cause pain, which I found interesting. So it's either a hotness or a spice. No, I think spice, right, causes pain. And then that's what makes it good, I guess. I don't know. But either way, I was like, that shit may cause pain, but that shit was fucking good. Hey, bro, you can just chill here. Shut up. Oh, he's right here. Dear boy. Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. What? Bro, my fit looks fire. I hate how you disrespect me. Like this. Not if you want to fit in the only thing bad is my hat. To rob the place. Now, come on. What are you talking about? That suit is not fit for the purpose at hand. Come along, dear boy. Come along. But you are right. This suit is more for robbing people. Hello. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yes. My friend here is in need of a new suit. We are playing on the riverboat this evening. Excellent. Well, you'll find all my inventory in the catalog here. You'll find all my inventory in the catalog here. He really is. As long as I don't got to pay for it, we do. Fault, his grandfather had to emigrate. Hey, bro. What's the next page? This is it, bro. I like the vest. But where the hat at? Where? Where? Peace town suit, sir. Perfect for the occasion, I'd say. Man, fuck you. You won't even let me look at the other shit. Talk about buy. You're forcing me to take it. Come on, let's get you to I don't like the way this jacket looks, bro. Why? Why I got so many lines in it, bro? I could got so many stitching lines. I don't like that. It's quite ingenious, actually. Like, bro, why is there one from the back to the top of my neck? From, like, bro, it's too many stitching lines. You're gonna let, you gonna let me this money? Oh, shit. And that is when Javier comes in. And you take whatever you want. Bro, can I get a, a hat? I would, I, they could have at least gave me a hat, bro. But I do like my hair. You, all of us, will be done here soon. I hope so. Come on. Same. Can't wait till I can get out of this place. Can't wait till I can get out of this place. My good man, could you smarten up my dear hick friend here? No, I'm not cutting my hair, bro. I'm not cutting my hair. I don't care what the fuck you say. I grew this bitch out, so I'm keeping it. Post time. Hell no. My guy looks ugly without a beard. Nah, flying. English. That's right. Damn, I didn't know Arthur's teeth were that fucked up. Okay, then, let's see. Bro, he's trying to change me up a little too much, bro. 
make him look like a prince, sir. Nah, we'll keep that. Let's see what the hairstyles are. Oh, that shit full length right now. I like that. Let's see what styles we can get. Left padded. Right padded. What the fuck is that? Middle padded? What the, what the hell are these? What the hell? What kind of hairstyles are these? Buzz? No. Bald? Fuck no. Mmm. Bro, I don't want none of these, honestly, bro. All these bitches look ugly. I like my hair the way that, you know what, I'll put, I'll put this shit on my hair. Why not? That's the only shit I'm doing. And even if I did have enough money to do anything else, I'm not doing it. There, very smart. Come on. All we do is put lotion on my hair. I've arranged some transportation for us. Oh, thank goodness, I don't gotta... Well, of course, I'm rich. Shouldn't we have something fancier? Just saying. George, to the Grand Corrigan, please. Grand Corrigan, sir. Well, look at you. From Toad, the Prince. I was never yeah, told. a bit much, ain't it? Coach, we can't win any up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels you're a brash oil man money to burn which reminds me no hold on i'll be back puff your chest out get outside yourself yeah all right Okay, bro, I'm back. Bro, tell me why as soon as I stood up, my Thank stomach you. started so, who's the hurting. Not like me to go to the bathroom hurting, just pain. Oh, yes. Don't I don't know if it's from my spicy food. Hold on. Back. It's a man called Desmond Bly. Made a fortune and hosiery of all things. <laughs> Likes to play fast and always keep some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. Oh, which? Hold on. So... Also blends to receptors on the tongue that detect heat, which is why spicy food feels hot. So spiciness isn't actually a taste, it's a sensation of pain and heat produced by chemical reactions between Yeah, see? I was right. Spice is pain. What could possibly go wrong? What money am I playing with? Don't worry. That has all been arranged. Your chips will be waiting for you. That's oh, nice. There she is. Come on. Okay. Arthur, even George will collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. You too. Now remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. 
Yes, yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss, listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. There they are. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you. Arthur, you remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Come on, gentlemen. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, dear boy. Come on, come on, let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur. Champagne. Come on. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. Don't got any. Good time. The tables await. I'll go find myself a change of clothes. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self doubt. On a boat. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time, but don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. Thing is, we're on a boat. Bro. Strauss knows the hands that will be dealt. Follow his instructions while playing poker. We have a chair here with your name on it, sir. Hello, mister. Don't mind if I do. Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Callahan. Sorry I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Hey, Desmond Bly. Good evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, Welcome gentlemen. to the game, Mr. Callahan. I hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this! Chips already stacked up, waiting for me. I like this joint already. We aim to please, sir. Ooh. So, how are I just caught two dollars. Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life now, where would the fun be? Quiet. Wait, not Desmond Blind, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but yes, you should have. <laughs> <laughs> Told me to follow, so I'm my fault. To hell with it. Here we go, then. Three kings. Green high, king high. I don't know what wins, honestly. Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. Uh, or there we go. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Oh. Mr. You think I ain't? So Let's do this then. What business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man. Funny, I haven't heard of Go you. Go bust some poker. Oh, you will. You know, I thought about getting into hosiery, but I just look better in a suit. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. Keep it in. You sound just like my wife. Let's go 100. Let's go 100. Let's up the stakes a little. Ooh, this ain't lucky enough for me. Okay, Mr. Callahan, I'm all in. You're not saying nothing. Say something. Come on, no alcohol. Call. Right. Interesting. I guess he was. Pair of jacks, pair of queens. Wins four hundred and four dollars. Shit! Shit! I guess my luck held. Is that you done? Done. Bust. Or uh, you got something else to play with? Meaning? Well, I heard. Well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. Hillbilly. Hey yo, watch who you talking to. Why? I gotta watch. Look at you. An ex. Expensive one, real fine. Swiss, 
A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. Oh, okay. I just now play as you will. So you must know the Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation heads up in New Hanover. Two kings. <laughs> I am 100% all in, Mr. Callahan. Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. You saying? You saying well, yeah? Oh wait, I didn't see the message. Nothing gained. To the left. Damn, he has an ace. Uh oh. He yes, aces. Ooh. Little beauty. Hard lines, Mr. Blind. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace high diamond flush. <laughs> Bro, what the hell? Damn you! No offense. None thank you. Well played, sir. Unlucky, Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but uh, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? Gentlemen. Please, cash these out for me. I, I started last week. Good. Sure. Perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. Come with me, sir. No problem. Gotta You're go get my watch. Yeah, so far. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. Damn. We live in strange times. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not. I've got my own little lawgiver right here. Very good. Next, we'll be hiring Negroes. Hey, yo. Yeah, I'm kind of black, and I'm playing this game. Chill out, my guy. Or well, you're going to die anyway, so keep talking. I hope it is. You can't have everything. Indeed. Well, here we are. Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your sure, no time. problem. Don't reach for that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. Give me this. I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. <laughs> idiot, huh? Shit. Ooh. Shit, let's hope no one heard that. Quick, clear the safe. Let's get out of here. Should I have knocked him out more? You in here is looking pretty good. How much is there? Be a few thousand plus the watch. Nice. Now let's get out of here. Come on. Let's go meet the others. Sure. I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. If we're lucky. I should visit a guard. Is that a good shot? It sounded like one. Come on. And how exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. No garnish, no meat. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and can cannon off the side. Nice uniform, by the way. Thanks. I give anyone a job these days. Anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away until we know we need to. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Which it surely will. To the bar, senor! Don't they know I went up there with him? you had fun, sir. <laughs> In the time of my life. You boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> it's wonderful. Ah, <laughs> uh, look. There's your friend. My friend is not a noble and I beg you to take back the insinuation. He is. 
Now, don't be a sore loser, friend. Something I don't like about the pair of you. There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is! Shoot that man! <laughs> What gun is this? I like this gun. Coming back, so we. Well, never dull you can yeah, that's one way come up with it. a backup. So, how much did we get? A few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch. Yeah, apparently, it's worth a bunch of Swiss, a Reutlinger or something. Nice watch. Yes, it's a right lingo, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. All right, come on, let's get out of here. Shot up a boat. Okay. Bro just got mad because we won, bro. I'm dead. You gonna say this right now? Morning, dude. Good to see someone who ain't afraid of hard work. Well, all the best. No, give me one of these newspapers. Man, what's the point of me? Okay, then. Boy, why am I touching? What exactly is okay. Okay, where are we going from here? Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, it's all the way down here, actually. We're gonna go down there. I don't trust Dutch's mission, bro. Dutch's mission is gonna get me in a whole lot of trouble right now. Well, I actually got a lot of money to pay it off, but I don't want to waste my money paying shit off right now. I eat. Sure all these people know my face though. But I guess it's whatever. But we're only 30% through this game. And I thought we were getting close to the end. Like, I'm pretty sure it counts story mode, right? Why do I feel like my horse isn't sprinting? There we go. Are we even going faster? Bro, I can't tell. I don't care. There they are, Dutch and everybody, ready to go and do whatever. But I'm gonna do this Ego Dude's mission, and then I'll do Dutch's mission. 
That just mission comes second, because I know we're going to be shooting up a bunch of people. In the middle of town and whatnot. Yo, does my horse usually go this slow? Hold on, is he agitated or something? Is this why he's like this? Does agitate? Does him being agitated make him slow? Oh wait, what was his level? How much more until? My bad. How much more until I level him up? Mm, level two. 544 out of 15. 11, 50. We got a long way to go. We got some more bonding to do. Easy, girl. Okay, now. What the hell is that? Yeah, good girl. Hold on. Oh, wait, wrong thing. We're actually close to the bounty. We'll do this. Bro, try to set an alligator on me, bro. I swear to God. We ain't going to you. <gasps> They're here for your bounty. <gasps> Talk to Mama, boy. Don't shoot. Hey, Come along. I knew you was coming. I got something to ask. I'm a changed man, okay? Let me say my farewells. I'll come away peaceable. Okay. Make it quick. You're forgiving me. No problem. As long as you don't try to do something stupid. Boy. Boy, come here. Listen. What you telling them? You, bro. Take me for what? Yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. I love you, Daddy. No, Don't try Daddy. nothing, kid. Remember what I said, boy. I feel like they're going to try to do something. You're kidding. If you don't want your son to die, I hope you didn't tell him to do something stupid. Kidding. Actually help me out because I was gonna lose them anyways. What you have on you? Now I'm just gonna check your pockets. <clears throat> All right, let's go. Now don't make me need to knock you out, bro. Could have got your neck broke. Premature. Of course. Let him go back to his 
Don't you guys want to die? Still from some hay. I mean, my horse likes hay, so that's cool. Can I loot him? Try to call other people. Look, leave my peace. Okay. I don't think he has. I think there's gonna be more people coming. Let's see about this. Hold on. Won't be long to wear roads. <laughs> oh, I try to hit him. Oh, that was everybody then. Come on, bro. Here we go. Since you wanted to be dumb, people died because of you. Hope it was worth it. Remember that. Remember that. Actually, it don't matter. You're going to die anyways. So, yeah. That's the price for Johnson. I didn't take it. Someone else would have. You tell yourself that, bounty hunter. You ain't whiter than white. I hope your past catches up with you. Don't you believe in redemption? I work the land, I raise the family, I redeem myself, please! You ran, you kept running. Don't twist this any other way. Can I, I wonder if I could break him out. Of course I wouldn't break him out for, I wouldn't break somebody out for him. Like, if I could break anybody out, it wouldn't be him. Oh, it's all the way over here. God damn it. That shit's pretty far. Okay, then let's go. Hold on. Hey, move! Oh, is that dude? level up there but that shit's something you do slowly yeah. bounty hunters don't try to catch me in this game I just thought about that. They always try to kill me. I've never, like, I ran into two bounty hunters before. It should have been four, but I avoided two, I think. I'm not sure. Or it should have been three, and I avoided one. But either way, I ran into two of them, I think. And both times. Oh, shit. Oh, is this dude up in the, in the mountains? See this here? American ginseng. Take a feller from not too bad to hardy as buck in no time. 
really something. Yep, you don't find this every day. Just this in your medicine, give it some zip. Believe me. Whatever you're selling, I ain't buying. Anyway, I ain't gonna use all of this, so feel free to help yourself to whatever's left. You take care now. Okay then, bye. Thanks. Be well, friend. Did that deer die? Because I hit him? Yep. If I did hit him? Yeah. Well, we bumped into each other. Hold on. Oh. Never mind. I thought that was an exact number of how much the favor of my horse goes up every time I feed him. And I wonder if they like some to eat something specific. I feel like this game would have that. Each horse likes eating something specific and you just have to find out what they like. And then you feed them that thing and then they'll make their favorite bar or bonding bar increase faster. Oh shit. Ooh, almost crashed. All this country you brought me? Bro, you got a big ass, a decent sized wagon. And you're in the way, so move. Before you die. And I ain't gonna say it twice. Bro, my horse is still going, bro. Look at bro, bro. Bro, chillin'. I was going to look back, but I'm going to wait a little. There we go. Look at him. Bro, chilling. Oh, wait, hold on. They mean to look down like that. Uh, you know what I wonder? If I set up camp somewhere, can I get robbed? Like, I'm curious. Can people rob me? I, I mean, people, somebody did try to rob me before when I tried to help this lady. That's why I'm curious. If I set up camp, like, I can go and rob people, can they come and rob me? And I need this question to be answered, but I will not sit here all day and try to answer that question. It's this dude again. A blind man. You know what? Why not? Take this. I think I gave you a dollar last time. Let's see where you go this time. You didn't run when last we spoke, sir. You didn't run far enough. All right. Well, I'll have to take your word for it. Okay. Then. Goodbye. up here oh there he is my horse is better than y'all yours I said y'all you came of course I came said I would there's a foreman his name is Danbury. There's the files in the office above the refinery room. It's that window with the blind drawn up. I see it. If the files are as incriminating as we believe, Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will the files say? There'll be a report from Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence or hide in a wagon. They keep rolling in. I'm gonna take a look. If there's a problem, call for me. I thought the whole point was that this had nothing to do with you. Ideally. If you are quick, you could climb into the back of that ladder.
Oh, there's a big ass opening in the back. Let's go cinematic view, why not? You're saying there's still a big ass opening in the back of this. Let's just go back into cinematic view. Why not? Okay then, are they gonna come back here and check the package? I see. How do you not see me? I don't know. How do I get out of this? going to work or lunch I'm just trying to move fast, quiet and fast. Yes, I am. I said I'm important right now. No, need a file by the Leland Oil Development Company. The one about the oil near Wapiti. I, I <coughs> sounds like you're trying to do something. Danbury, think, man. Mind is a terrible thing to lose, especially over <laughs> such a nice floor as this. Thank you. You done good, Danbury. Real good. They'll give you a promotion for this. Nope. Danbury. Tell the guard you're fine. Yes, it's just, I'm working, all's fine. Now stay quiet, or head office will send me back to get you.
I feel like he was going to scream for the guards. Is he dead? All I try to do is knock him out. Hey, 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 hold it right there. Weapons on the ground and hands in the air. Easy now, fellas. Now, we won't tell you again. What the hell? Huh? I don't know what happened to my shotgun. Ain't no fucking way I'm that stupid, bro. Ain't no fucking way. That is fucking stupid. Okay, then. You didn't have to do anything. I was good. I don't know why I put in my put away my shotgun. I had it on my back. We're almost clear. Please don't jinx us. That explosion came just in time. I was happy to watch some of that oil burn. So you met Mr. Danbury? Yes, don't worry. He was very obliged. I thought he was going to yell for people. Wasn't getting involved. Thought you were going to enter and leave silently. Thank you. You saved my life. Thank you. Did that happen oh. because I knocked him out? Well, I don't know what I hope, but who knows? Maybe these will be of some use. Here's your Thank you. Thank you. Two fifty. Oh, I got one twenty-five. What my horse at? Come on, girl. Okay, then. I could do somebody else's mission. I just seen it pop up. D H D L O H uh, L. Henry. Okay, then. We'll go do Dutch's mission, though. Hopefully, we're not shooting up half the town, yep. which we are gonna do, actually. That was just disappeared into the. into nothingness. Actually, bro, I want to go see what this stranger is talking about. Yeah, you're all right, girl. In case. And then after we see this stranger, we'll leave. Oh, wait, can't get up there. study of plants, my friend? Familiar ain't quite the word I'd use. Well, let me tell you. This great earth beneath our feet can provide everything man ever needs. But we've only reached a tiny bit of its potential. You see, there are thousands, maybe millions of plants all across this vast country we share. The mountains, so. the plains, the swamps, 
I mean to explore them all. To know all of nature's bounty and all of her wonder, if I can. Sure. But I'm only one man. Would you consider helping me with gathering herbs for my studies? Why? Knowledge. Kindness. Beauty. Well, I'm ignorant. Ugly. Not nice. nice. <laughs> well, let's see if maybe we can do something about that. I'll see. I'm looking for a plant called yarrow. You can distinguish it by its red flowers. It shouldn't be too hard to find. They thrive out in the open under direct sunlight. Yeah, just how do you have them? Let's see what this mission offers. <laughs> Let's see how this tastes. It's not like I use them that often. Wait, wait, hold on. Oh shit, bounty hunters? I'm dead. Yeah. <laughs> I feel better already. They were right. This stuff does have medicinal properties. If I have it, I'll give it to him. If I don't, then oh well. You've been helpful. Thank you. You're a horseman, I know. You'll want to have this. Save it for bad injuries. Heaven forbid your horse is in trouble. You'll be glad you had it. Now, if you don't mind, I'll be getting back to my studies. I look forward to our next meeting, Traveler. Sure. I can see why you do this. All the best to you. Thanks, Arthur. A and to you. Excuse me. Uh, I'm a pressure. Bro, I'm not scared of these bounty. You're not going to catch me. I'm going to feed you. And then let's go. Oh, should they getting closer and shit? Let's go this way then. Hopefully, I can go up this. Are there cougars or mountain lions? I know there's wolves. What the hell? Damn, they were on my track and then they lost me. I mean, I did find a white cougar before, but I'm just talking about in like out in the wild, not like a boss, like a monster, legendary hunt type thing. We'll go do that, yeah. ho. So when then, so then when I do get banned from this area, I will just. When I do get banned, I can just pay it off. Because I do got a decent amount of money now. Yeah. Bro, shut up. Unless you want to die. But I ain't trying to kill nobody right now. People be talking mad crazy. And I, what is that scream, bro? That scream is mad creepy. I don't know what animal you belong to, but you need to stop. out my way. Yep. All right, and the reason I eat more is because I'm underweight. So yeah. Also, here, let's see. When I eat, you eat. We both eat. Bro, it was bright as shit, bro. Easy. Oh shit! What the hell? Boy, you're home. Be happy to. Get on. Oh, you kind, mister. Boy, you're home at. If he uh, be so kind to take me to LeGras, that's where I'm from. That's where my... Hold on. Is that where I'm going? It is. So you good. You lucky. You lucky, lucky. You stupid lucky. Because I ran into another woman who had to go somewhere the opposite way, and I left her. Either. You seem like a horse rider. Yeah, your whole life I've been. Oh, 
horse don't help much in Lagrano. You know, horse can swim fine as a duck, be much more used to us. Last horse we bugged, got his foot stuck in the mud, gator came and ripped his leg off. The horse got <laughs> another gator came and took the other leg. Then the horse got to die for a part time and still come out with a rifle on him. Damn. And there's no word of lie. Bro, I just had bad luck. That's hilarious. Bro, that horse had a horrible day at work. That's crazy. Hold on. Hey. yourself no home to live and grow and die and if you always moving you can't build no roots down can't grow nothing up always moving is no good maybe i don't want roots how about that you're not looking to sell we getting close don't die don't now bro why the fuck she just roasts me like that that's crazy she just shooting shots at me and shit Say something, but I don't know if it would be rude. I mean, I don't really care either way. But I found it interesting how the people, like the NPCs in this game, spoke. Like from the rich people to the country people to the black people to the Hispanic people to the Chinese people. Like they all spoke differently. So, like, Dutch, if you go to St. Dennis like and then you go to the, they're talking about immigrants and then you can go talk to them. I find it interesting. <laughs> this game has all of that. Look on that turn, there you are. Come on. Thomas, let's get going. Right you are. Right you are. I hope Thomas makes it back okay. Cause whenever we go out gunning somebody always hey, Bill, die. You were a sharpshooter in the cavalry, weren't you? What? When we get there, maybe you could help with the suppression fire. I never said I was no sharpshooter. Oh, that's right. W what was it? The nation's most loyal latrine digger, wasn't that it? <laughs> yeah, well, I fought, and I fought well. So you always tell us. You taught me something you could do with learning. <laughs> Them Indians were savages. Watch your mouth there, boy. Watch it. Only type of savage in these parts are moonshine, swilling pompous, inbred locals. Dutch, I saw things out there. I don't doubt you saw things, Bill, but your tiny little mind was too small to comprehend what you saw. What you saw was people who lost everything to savagery, savagery of peasants. Failures come from Europe to reap some awful vengeance on God's last creation. Interesting way you boys got to prepare for a killing. I'm sorry I wasted my life trying to teach you boys. Love you though, I do. <clears throat> well, like leaving love aside, <coughs> you think we Oh damn, I'm coughing more. I don't like that. I'm starting to cough a lot more. It's all we got. So I'll either tell you this, I'm gonna die. I don't know if you die. I don't know if I don't know what happens. I all I know is that Arthur dies. Good luck to you. Come on, quick. Stay quiet. Oh damn, them niggas are down there. I'm all the way up here and shit. Lenny, Bill, you're with me. Arthur, John, you take the left side. If you see a shot, you take it. Okay? Good luck, gentlemen. Arthur, let's go. Okay, then. Let's go. Those two stay out of sight. Ah! Ah! Rain, 
Damn. Just give up, you it's over. Ah! Ah! shot my head off. Up into the gun that I could have picked up. Shotgun it. I like, ooh, that detail. Let's check upstairs. He's not down here. That level of detail is fucking amazing, bro. for now don't got my shotgun so I'll just use it bro the tank is nigga ever let me clean my weapons he's not going nowhere Oh, you pay these bitches. Okay, then. Time for the right one. I didn't even get to check the other rooms. That's crazy. I wanted to loot. That's, that's why I picked this room first, and I didn't pick the biggest room, because I thought there, was going, there wasn't going to be anything in this room. Well, ain't that a bitch. That's crazy. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, friend. I, I, no, name your price. Name your price, every man of your price. Eh? Okay, okay. No, I surrender. I surrender. I... Ooh, Ooh damn. Nah, just take him to Dutch. You can carry him. I ain't touching that piece of shit. Run through a pistol at him and bro got mad. What he got on him, though? He rich as shit. He better have something on him. Hundred fifty one dollars fifty five dollars. That's the that's the most I've seen on anybody. Like I said, you carry. Okay, bro, shut up. Let's go, Arthur. I don't really want that though. I already got mine, bro. Shut up. Oh, you got nothing in here. I was hiding in this tub like a bitch. They didn't know who he was messing with. Now let's go. Big Dutch wants to have a little chat. Mm -hmm. 
course we're wanted again. Happen. Stay with me, Him in the front. Bill, you help. No, you got him. Oh, come on, Lenny. All right, come on. Let's get out of here. Oh, you're going rowboat away? I'm dead. Yep. Oh, hey, big man. We gonna ransom you or what? You're a seat. Oh, I am. Because from where I'm sitting, you're the one deserving of pity, my friend. All your men, all your money, <laughs> there weren't no match for a bunch of bumpkins. You, five people like that. You do nothing, you mean nothing, you stand for nothing. Me, I run a city. <laughs> What's he begging for his life? You will die like nothing. I am this country, you, you, you are what people are running from. I possess things that you will never understand. I bet I hit my mind. You don't even possess your own men. A thousand dollars to the man who kills him and sets me free. What are you going to say now? They are even bigger fools than you. Oh, you're right. You are so right. They are good at smelling filth, huh? So filth. Has got to be this Our friends of Pinkerton's gonna come and rescue you, you repulsive little maggot! Call them now! You call them! Damn, don't you get? Part of your philosophy books cover feeding the fellow, the goddamn alligator, Dutch. The part that covers weakness. That part. I don't know. Well, I do. It ain't nice. I know it. But it is us or him. That is true. I figure it might as well be him. What's going on with Dutch, though? Hey, what's going on with Dutch? Why, why, why he see, why he seem moody, y'all? Like he seems mad all the time. I just got my mask on and shit. I wanted. Yes, I am. Ninety-five dollars this time. I don't got no missions there, so I could care less about that area. Got the hiccups now for whatever reason. That's exactly what I wanted at this point in time. Well, it was like one hiccup, and then it's gone.
You okay, Jack? Look, I'm scared, Uncle Arthur. It's gonna be okay, kid. Quit with the ruckus! Okay, I'll oh, catch God. you later, Dan. Okay, Uncle Arthur. What is he scared of? Why do I still have this fucking gun? I'm gonna put it in the locker, because I don't want it. Mm, I'll let you. I need to buy some ammo. I can only buy it once, and then it's like light yellow, not even white. But I got rid of my nice pump shotgun for this garbage ass double barrel. Hey, yo, what the hell? Okay, then. My repeater ammo is full. I wish I could just pick up the shit I needed. Shells. Mm. What's a gun locker at? Fire bottle? I'll take that actually. I'll take another one. I don't really use them. Kidding. Is this the gun locker? Gun locker. Weapon locker. Uh, what is this double barrel? Pump action or uh, carbon? Uh, uh, locker horse. The shit I got on me. Pump it. Uh, hold on. We're back with the back hole. Rolling. This shit does do damage. Oh, pump action. The fuck did I have on my shoulder then? You guys all seen the double barrel shotgun on my shoulder, right? Why is it acting like it wasn't it wasn't just here? I guess it got put away by itself. I don't fucking know. Let's just go. All I do know is that I need some more ammo. And I also need to get a repeater. Because I got a rifle right now that's pretty good. Just need to repeat it, but I'm trying to wait to unlock the best one. Hold on, what's this? Jim? No. Oh. The bank. Karen, Tilly, Abigail. I sent them all. They all say the same thing. There's no more than one armed guard. And the police? The all over the place. Police, but as far as we can tell, the patrols will all be going this way when Abigail and I cause the diversion. That's the opportunity. What do you think, Arthur? I don't see we have a lot of choice. We linger around here, we know we're dead. But plan. We got a decent bunch. We know how to fight. The city cops don't seem so tough as long as we move fast. I reckon doing it in the day with a distraction. That's what Jose is saying. It's as good a plan as any. I think I agree. When we do it at night, there's the dram of just getting into the bank. Can't do that silently. Pick us off far easier. I know. I'm just making sure. Every plan is a good plan if we execute it properly. Every problem we had was because we did not execute properly. That is true. Even Blackwater, from my understanding. You're right. Let's rob this bastard. Everyone get some rest. Be right out in the morning. Look smart. Travel light. I need some ammo, though. Oh shit. You got everything, Arthur. Sure. So, we rob ourselves a bank, and within six weeks we're living life anew in a tropical idol, spending the last of our days as banana farmers. Hey yo, Let's Abigail coming. I hope Abigail survives. No bullshit. Abigail better not die. She's not. I hope. Let's go. Let's go. I feel like I'm jinxing myself, bro. I feel like I'm really jinxing myself. I think she'll be okay though. Okay, I don't 
got the double bear on me. Matthews. Oh. This is it, gentlemen. The last one. Where have we heard that before? What has happened to you, John? You lost all your heart. I'm just trying to stay real about all this. Real? Oh, how I detest that word. So devoid of imagination. How soon are we shipping out? As soon as we get a passage organized. Boat down to Argentina, then another around the Cape. What about the money in Blackwater? We're just gonna leave that behind? Forget that. It's gone. You all talk like it's the only goddamn money in the world. That is true. But it was a lot. More. Take it from the people who take it from us. This isn't some big town hundred dollar operation. This is a big city bank. Right. With security, guards, police. Hosea has done his reconnaissance. We've been over this. The plan. One last time. Hosea and Abigail draw out the police. We go in calm and fast. John and Lenny secure the front doors. Javier takes the side exit. Bill, Micah, and Charles control the crowd. Me and Arthur deal with the bank manager and vault. Got it? Got it. Yeah. Got it. Gentlemen, let us go ahead. How long do you need? Wait. A horse and Lenny are with us, right? Hold on. No. It's Micah, Dutch. Cause I'm, I'm just looking up who dies. Cause this is chapter four. So Lenny dies, sadly. I think. I don't know. This is it, cowboys! One more time! Well, one more time. Let's ride! Yeah. Four of us, bro, I, I don't think they're gonna die because they, they're distractions and not. Bro, I just don't want nobody else to die, bro. This is family, this is the game. I'm connected to everybody here, even Micah. He was annoying when I rescued him, but he's cool now. Bro, should I even be in town? Because any lawmen that see me are going to come after me. Act normal. Everybody after me. Four people on a horse that look exactly like this. Look, look. No, no. Newspaper kid knows what's going on. The lawmen just... Okay then. There's Bill. Let's hitch up here. What kind of distraction are they gonna have? Hey, aren't you the aren't you the guys who shot up that one place? Nah, that wasn't us. Gentlemen. Robbing thieves. Hold on, let me get my guns. Like this. Hold on. They stole what this country been. Stay cool, fellas. Act natural. Wait for Hosea to do his thing. This this is better work. Looks like there's law over the other side. Have a modicum of faith, John, will you please? Soon as we get out, load everything onto the wagon here. <laughs> I love that Hosea. He is a true artist.
Okay, now then, Arthur, would you please have Senior Bank Manager here open up the vault? Abigail! Dutch! Get out here! Get out here now! Someone must have squealed! You never should have gone after Bronte, Dutch. Mr. Milton? <clears throat> Let my friend go! Or folks, they are gonna get shot unnecessarily! Your friend? <laughs> Why would I do that? Come on, Milton! It's over! No more bargains! No more deals! Mr. Milton! This is America! You can always cut a deal. I've given you enough chances. Come on! Take this! 
Spencer! We lost John. Killed? Arrested. I couldn't help. Well, we better go. We'll be next. What you think? I reckon me and Lenny try and find a way across the roof. See if you'll cover us. Sure, sure. Go on! or we're gonna be dead in the next few minutes. Follow me, one at a time. Arthur, you go next. Come on, follow me. Keep it down. There's law everywhere. You got the law below. Watch out. Find these men.
I don't believe it. They knew we were coming. Just like your ferry job in Blackwater. Ain't nothing like that. What now? I don't know. I don't. This whole town is filled with cops. Well, how long are we gonna stay here? Uh, a few hours? We go back to camp? They're gonna get every last one of us. I know they're gonna be watching the roads. I got it. A boat. What you mean? We stay here till nightfall. Then we sneak on down to the docks. We get ourselves out of here. Yeah, well, where? Any place will do. That's all I got. We leave. We lie low. We come back for the rest in a few weeks. I'm guessing it's that. Will we die out there right now? Exactly. Now, everybody, calm down. I mean, oh, look at us. Okay, follow me and keep your heads down. Stopped. We'll go through the train, Arthur. Come on. Rest you. Follow when it's clear. Someone's coming. Look out on the left. Stay low. I don't see why we have to check the train. They just robbed Lemoyne National Bank. It's not like they're gonna take the first line out of town. But old Milton said. Milton said a lot. Come on, I don't wanna be out here all night. See if you can draw them out. Draw them out? How? I don't know. Make a noise. Whistle or something. I apologize. I didn't know my mom came over. Bro. I... I didn't even get a react to Lenny's death because my mom was in here and whatnot. Huh. What was that? My my guy Lenny died, bro. I actually like Lenny. I fucked with Lenny.
I swear my mom just came over to start problems that are needed right now though. My parents get along semi decently. They're good until they start arguing. That's supposed to hit, right? I hope he makes it back. I feel like he's gonna die. I'm upset. I'm upset. I want to get revenge, but this stupid story mode driven game isn't gonna let me make my own choices. I like how Dutch sees me as his son, though. Like, he really, really does. Like, he let me go through the window first and everything. Maybe there was somebody in the window about to shoot him, but. I don't know her said. John, Lenny, Jose. Oh, we gotta save him. Good. I know. So what are we gonna do now? <coughs> Guess I'm gonna introduce myself to the captain. Give him some of this gold to secure his silence. And find out where we're heading. How do I look? Like a shifty, no good killer on the run from the law. Ain't that the truth? Excuse me, sir. Hey, who are you? Forgive me. A stowaway. Can I see the captain, please? I come in peace. Well, it's going to take a little more gold, but I think we're going to be okay. This captain, he is a, a fine fella, a New Englander from the Cape. The rest of the ship is Frenchmen. They're heading down to the islands, taking some Pennsylvania coal. Now, apparently, we're going to be able to slip ashore in northern Cuba in a couple of days. That's so. Apparently. Damn, bro. What happened to Abigail? Abigail's good, right? What are we going to do in Cuba, Dutch? I'm worried about Abigail because of... Then hurry back and gather up her, the rest of our family. Her son. At least we got some money now. Money and loyalty. That, you can do whatever you please. So you reckon they'll follow us to Cuba? Like Colonel Waxman on a jolly? I highly doubt it. I reckon we hold ourselves to ourselves, and this is done and dusted. Let's hope so. I ain't no sailor, but, uh... <clears throat> that cloud look like good news to you. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. I missed most of that because my mom's being fucking annoying, but guess we're gonna get broken up. I'll go splitting it up. I'm gonna end the episode after this.
bro, I didn't know there was two ways to die. Either there's two ways to die. One, succumb to my tuber tuberculosis and stuff and injuries from Micah, and two stabbed in the back by Micah. Micah is the one who betrays us. I know I'm looking up spoilers, but who cares? This game's been out for how long? Yeah, Micah did. And on Arthur. Dutch was always going to turn on Arthur and likely the rest of the game eventually. She was ultimately a tragedy, and Dutch's actions are the root of the game's sad fate. So Dutch is gonna turn on us? I can see that. He would have betrayed Arthur without even without Micah. That's what it says. I'm gonna end screen as soon as I could get to a safe spot or whatever. I stopped walking, but he's. Uh, I was gonna be like, I stopped walking, and he's still walking. I'm still walking by my lonesome. some more don't got my guns my fit nothing I'm still walking. I'm passed out again. Somebody gonna help me? Mary? I don't know where Mary went, but if she found me, that would be incredible. I'm curious, why do people think that Dutch would have betrayed us? This trust was misplaced, even without Micah Dutch. Chapter 5. You know, to make betrayal of Arthur was not surprisingly in the least and would have likely happened even without Micah. So he did betray me? I look fiery shit though. Sadly, I'm all bruised up. But if you're seeing this on Twitch, hit that follow button. Seeing this on YouTube, hit that like and subscribe. And I'm gonna end stream here though. So yeah, by uh, hopefully, hopefully it saves right here. So then we don't gotta worry about nothing. But yeah, bye.